So, what is the number one career aspiration for primary school children? Well, they want to be a singer. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, it seems that children no longer dream of being doctors, nurses, firefighters or train drivers. High on their list these days is singer or band member, being on television or just general celebrity or socialites. Uh, we'll talk about this in a moment. Welcome back to the final part of this morning's Right Stuff. I'm Richard Bacon. Matt Baker, former Blue Peter presenter, is here. Yasmin Alibi-Brown, not a former Blue Peter presenter, is here. <laughs> and a uh, special guest, Teddy Thompson, joins us on the panel as well. So, why do we all want to be famous? It's almost the end of Big Brother, thank God. And there's another reality show. Only, uh, some fans here. I think less of you. Uh, and there's another reality show, Anisha's 16 new wannabes, uh, on to us. We're asking, why do so many people want to be famous? Just, just for the sake of being famous. Almost, how about this? Almost half of all teenagers are willing to leave school without qualifications to take part in a reality show, hoping it will lead to fame and fortune. Why? Uh, as we've just heard, gone are the days when kids dreamt of being a fireman, doctor, lawyers, all steady jobs that offered a good salary, a job for life. Nowadays, half of all school leavers just aspire to be famous, with the, the most sought after jobs being a musician, working in media, uh, being a celeb, or a socialite. A socialite? That's not even a job. It's not even a role. It's just a thing. Um, being a celebrity is even top the list of what kids under 10 say would be their their very best thing in the world to be, but the odds of being picked for a reality show and being successful afterwards are around 1 in 30 million. So, if getting rich quick is your motivation, you've got more chance of winning the lottery. Uh, fame doesn't last forever. Is there any glamour and glitz to being a Z-lister? Only one in five of fame seekers said they would rely on their talent. Surely it would be better to be well known for working hard and striving for a goal or reward. Would you rather be Rebecca Adlington, famous for being an Olympic two-time gold medal winner, or Rebecca Luz, famous for supposedly helping Bex two-time his wife. There was also an incident on TV involving Rebecca Luz and a pig, yeah. which, um, which, if I'm not mistaken, was on this channel. Um, let's, uh, let's talk about this. Yasmin my brown we'll start with you. What's, what's your views on well, this? Well, it's you... interesting, isn't it? I think X Factor, more than Big Brother, I think when you watch the first... Um, first, you know, processes of X Factor, you think, are these people, do they really think they're good or are they just coming on to be on TV for this 30 seconds, even if it means being completely humiliated, you know? Mm. Because it, some of them are so bad that you think, really, what is it? It must be just so they can be on telly. So I feel for them. Um, what, what, what's the, what, do, can you understand why people want to be famous for no reason other than, you know, no, fame for its own sake. No, I can't. I can't. Is it, is I it, can't it, at all. Is, is it easy? Because, no. you know, if you're a kid and you see that, you think, well, that is you a job I can do without having to do kids. any work. No, it yeah. looks like a laugh, and then after these shows, you may see them going to a premiere or whatever. Yeah. And think, well, this, it's, a, it's a ticket into a world that I'd like to be a part of. And at that do you think you're a celebrity? No, qualification. Um, no, no, if I am, a very, very minor one. But I think, um, I never wanted to have any form of celebrity particularly I just what I, what I wanted to be was a reporter and then ended up doing telly and then I guess if I have a bit of profile it is a byproduct of wanting to initially be a reporter I didn't ever think hey, I want to be famous for the sake of it I mean Matt did you mm. become a presenter because you wanted to be famous no it happened absolutely by fluke for me I was a gymnast and I ended up going into a college production of Greece to do some backflips and somersaults one guy got laryngitis I ended up taking one of the parts and ended up at drama school and then I left yeah. to go and join Blue Peter the thing is I can't I cannot bear it when people do come up to me and say I want to be famous as if that's what you know they look at what your job is because the thing is it's a career and the key to success in this game is longevity yeah. it's about being able to do the job it's not about just going hey i'm on telly great yeah. i find it as well when people come to me and they go i want to be a presenter and they go well what sort don't know yeah just i just want to present well you need to you know you need a little bit more focus you know i think you need probably more of a motivation than just hey that looks all right yeah, sure. But there's no doubt about it. It's so easy to go along to the X Factor auditions. It is. And make a fool of yourself and get on telly. It's so easy to film yourself and then put it on a website yeah. or whatever now. You know, it's so... It, it, and it's just a different type. It's not professionalism. It's just being no. out there for the sake of it. Is that the people that, are, that, are, that do well in those shows aren't good either? You think if, if um, you know, if uh, Bob Dylan got up there in front of Simon Cowley, go, next! Rubbish! 
you know, or mm. Beck or somebody mm. or any, there are, quote, there are you know, real, in, really interesting, you know, no, I'm serious, R musicians yeah. wouldn't get past round one in those shows. Those figures I was reading out, uh, Yasmin, a few minutes ago, were, were rem I hadn't heard those before. Quite depressing, actually. It is, but then how can you blame them? Half I mean, the people you know, at school just simply want to be famous. Half. But what other jobs are there? I mean, think of the future. We've now become such a kind of service and finance economy, right? Yeah. They can go into the city and become rich, if not famous, and quite a lot of them do very well, young people who... But actually, there are train drivers, not that glamorous anymore. All these old jobs have gone, and we haven't got any other role models that we promote. I think the media is a lot to blame for this, of course. Yeah. The media is a lot to blame for it. I, I mean, Jerry Springer is on Who Do We Think We Are? Why? Why is he on? You know the fame, the program that because BBC his does. Genealogy is fascinating. I, I've recorded it, but yeah, I read but about it. Apparently, it was a of, of, you know what he has done. But apparently, to the, show was, the show last night was amazing. Did he, did, I'm uh, sure it was, but what does it say? This guy, who's really demeaned culture, both in the United States and here, is now more famous than famous. So, what do you think young kids are going to do? Okay. That this is the way to do it. Okay, you let's know, go I to. Chosen now, I was. We were talking earlier about the number of uh, kids under ten. Uh, this, it, the, for kids under ten, being or up to ten, being a celebrity, top their list of very best things in the world. Now we have uh, uh, somebody on the line now within that demographic. Polly, who is it? We've actually got Layla. She's only ten. Okay, oh. Layla. Good morning. Hi. Hi, uh, Layla. Thank I'd like to speak. Um, I'm only ten years old, and I go to school. And so many girls in my class, and even boys nowadays, yeah. they think they can be singers, and they all want to have that dream. And if they won't be singers, they say they want to be models or actresses. Well, um, my, my auntie and some people in my school say I'm a good singer, but I don't want to be a singer. I want to be a doctor, because it's my... Layla wants to be a doctor! <laughs> Uh, so, Leila, are, are you saying that you're in a minority in, in your class, that most of the other people want to be famous? Yeah, I'm in a minority. There's probably only two people in my class, or maybe just one, who want to be doctors or something else like lawyers or journalists. Why doesn't being a celebrity appeal to you? Because when you look at all the celebrities like Amy Winehouse and everybody else they, they're either on drugs and they're not doing and they're not really good role models for young children these days well uh, a brilliant young why is beyond her years yeah. there Yasmin uh, I want that one to be my daughter but well, even with, uh, you know, even with lawyers and doctors, you're only a somebody if you're on telly now, if you're as a doctor mm. or a lawyer. Yeah, it's that, so. all of it is celebrity now. Hey, so, uh, Layla, <laughs> Layla, thank you. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Layla, thank you so much for calling. Uh, that was uh, tremendous. That's it from us, uh, really. We kind of have to, uh, to leave it there. Thank you very much uh, to Rachel uh, for, uh, for all your help and advice. And Teddy, good luck. Uh, good luck with your album as well. Thank so you. Teddy Thank has a, a brand new album out. Uh, Teddy Thompson, a piece of what you need. There it is. Uh, and a thank you as well to Matt and Yasmin. Lady, you'll be back here tomorrow, of course. My final show, your final show. Ladies and gentlemen, the panel. Uh, right, that's it from us. On to tomorrow, I'll be joined by Sean Williamson. You may remember him uh, from EastEnders and Extras. He is on the panel, and Davina McHale will be on the sofa to help make sense of all your dreams. Starts again tomorrow at 9. See you then. Have a good day. Bye.